Hello, hello, hello everyone. It's Jackson Knowledge Goddess. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for those of you who have been doing the work. You haven't been really seeing any results. Um, you just been feeling like, okay, why am I not getting results? You kind of having resentment towards spirit. Like, okay, what's going on? Why am I not upgrading? I've been doing all this work and nothing well this reading is for you okay um so before we get started please keep in mind that these are general messages so everything may or may not apply to you in your situation and that is okay um please like subscribe share with a friend who may need it comment below let me know if it resonated with you and without further ado let's begin hit that post notification bell if you'd like to see more of me so um Okay, so we have the sixth house, which is about the work, health, and duty area of your life. We have Saturn here. Um, we also have the second house here, which is about your finances and the things that you value. Um, we have the world card twice. We've got the death card here. It's a lot going on. So this is for y'all who have been doing the work okay um things could have been going a little slow for you and with that being said it's could it kind of had you feeling um like you wanted to do other things or um it's kind of like you want to start taking shortcuts um even though you love what you're doing you kind of wanted to step back because it's not giving you the results that you needed or the instant gratification well i'm here to tell you don't um, don't give in to this devil energy. I feel like this devil energy here is trying to get you off of your path or get you away from the work that you've been doing. Um, like and kind of confusing you, kind of getting you to want to go a whole different way. Um, kind of been having you tired, uh, feeling drained, feeling um, like you're doing all of this for nothing. Don't give in to that moon energy. Don't give in to this devilish energy. Because things are about to start changing up for you. Um, especially if you're some type of speaker. But you have victory here. Trust your vibes. Even if you've been feeling like you just want to quit. Don't quit. Okay. Don't give up. You've been growing. <clears throat> you've been growing. Uh, everything that you've been trying to cultivate and accomplish, you've been growing. With this Nine of Pentacles here, especially with this Nine of Wands as well, you're about to have a huge upgrade. You're about to be getting some type of results, some type of award, some type of reward, some type of recognition. With this Victory card here as well, this is like my Six of Wands. <coughs> and you have a lot of Tens. Here as well. Um, you also have the Ten of Pentacles. So literally. Everything that you've been working for. You're about to get that recognition. That you deserve. You're about to have a whole new. Burst. Of energy. Um, could be a burst of income. For a lot of you. Um, a boost in. Um, like views. Or. Or customers, however it's going to fit in your life with your story. There's a lot of upgrades coming in and it is important that you don't give up. It is important that you continue to love what you do. Continue to put that love, dedication um, and all those things into what you do. Um, it is important for you to also trust your vibes you have trust your vibes here with the four of swords which is also about meditation and um, being in tune with your intuition it's something that your intuition has been telling you or something that you kind of feel um like a um how do you say it <sighs> it's like you've been feeling that something good is coming that's because it is, especially with this Nine of Pentacles being here. 
A lot of you have been truly dedicated to what you do. A lot of you could be in the beauty industry, um, could do makeup or you do you're in fashion, something like that. You're about to have a breakthrough um, for you who are speakers as well. Um, could be exercise enthusiasts or like um, fitness gurus, like a lot of things are about to be changing for you. A lot of you who are in um, like herbal uh, medicines or herbal fields or um, like yoga, something spiritual, um, some type of spiritual um, practice or whatever it is for you. There's about to be a lot of growth. Okay, a lot of income coming in for you all. And it's a very exciting uh, energy. Okay, now I can feel that a lot of you have been feeling um, like you're just not getting enough. So let's start to clarify some of these um, cards. For some of you, you could have also had a slowdown. And with the slowdown, like for instance, if you have, um, if you have, like if you do videos or something like that, you could have had like a slowdown in your views. You could have had a slowdown with your money or your income or something like that. I feel that a lot of you have been tempted to really just like let go and release whatever it is that you're doing um, as far as like working. Or like um, a creative project or trying to build your business don't give in to this energy don't give in to it let's clarify these cards what's this devil energy yep a lot of you could be feeling like um like you're not worth this is the five of wands a lot of you could be feeling like crabs in a barrel like um it's not enough or you're not getting enough or um like it's a lot of other people in your field and you want to give up because you may feel that others are better than you there's no such thing you need to get that out of your head because look at this at the bottom you have the six of wands that is success for what you're doing continue to love what you do genuinely if this is if you're doing something that you genuinely love that you have genuinely put time dedication and effort um into this blood sweat and tears into this this is a time where you have to have the most faith. You have to have the most trust in the universe, the most trust in spirit that you will be successful in whatever it is that you're doing. What's this two of swords? This is not the time to give up. It is not. And I know that this is good because this, um, I was just doing another reading that I'm going to post as well and this is a whole different energy this is a uplifted energy this is an accomplished energy this is emperor like energy empress like energy successful energy six of wands um all of that what's this two of swords with this two of swords you have the three of wands so some of you are going to be having an option in uh expanding or um, some of you are going to have an option to travel or you're going to have an option to do um, something. It's like some of you may have to leave something behind to start something new because you have the uh, eight of cups at the bottom. So some of you may be leaving something to go towards something new or you may be it's not necessarily like you're you're going to stop doing what you love to do it's more of an energy of you relocating it's like relocating energy so some of you may have um some type of option to relocate coming up soon now i do want to say all all money ain't good money so um use your intuition and trust your vibes um if somebody is offering you something and you don't feel totally confident in it then listen to your intuition what's this nine of swords okay so for the nine of swords you have the two of wands and um you have the page of swords as well that's like i'm telling you 
whatever this option is that's coming up for you, make sure that you're doing your research. Make sure that um, you are crossing your T's and dotting your I's when it comes to this business. Because I feel like it may be something. Um, see, look, look at these birds at the top. There's one clear bird up there. So it's kind of like um, make sure you're reading the fine print before you make certain decisions. Um, also plan before you just start to make certain moves. What's this Ten of Pentacles? What is this Ten of Pentacles? And this is for whoever it resonates with. Oh my God. With the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Pentacles. You are going to have some type of opportunity or some type of money coming in for a lot of you this is money coming in from some type of family or like a loan or um, some type of big money coming in or you're going or an opportunity is going to be presented to you to be able to get this kind of money a lot of you have been working on your credit as well um and you're going to be able to get some type of loan that you've been waiting on What's this moon energy? Okay, so I just, I'm telling y'all, I really was thinking about this four of swords. Um, the four of swords energy when I was looking at these four lanterns up here. So you have the four of swords energy with this moon energy. And also you have the four of swords here. And you have the uh, seven of cups. There is some type of confusion type energy with options whenever you're making these business decisions use your intuition and let your intuition guide you make sure that um, you're protecting your energy meaning make sure that you're in the right you're around the right people or make sure you're in the right mindset before you start um, making big decisions make sure that um, you're taking everything into account when you're making these certain decisions. Okay. What's this Queen of Cups? Like really pay attention to what you're doing at this time. So that you can be able to weed out um, the options that are not good for you. And the options that are good for you. Okay. So with this Queen of Cups, you have the Ten of Swords. I feel like there's somebody around you. You have the Ace of Cups here at the bottom. I feel like you have somebody around you. Could be somebody new that you're talking to. Um, I feel like they're more of a distraction. Or they take you away from focusing on what it is that you're doing. I feel like somebody may be trying to discourage you. In some kind of way or you may be listening to some type of uh, music or some type of like some type of low vibrational energy is around you and it is time for you to get rid of that because it's, it's putting you in a two of swords type of energy and it's it's kind of um, giving you this like back and forth energy of not knowing what to do and you don't need that right now because that's slowing you down. Okay. You have the four of pentacles with the world card. Um, to me, this is the, the end of you having to save or the end of you having to hold on to things so tightly. You, with this new uh, beginning. You're not going to have to do that. You're not going to have to worry about money. What's this four of swords? It's a lot of fours as well. And that, that goes with this angel of balance energy. Um, fours is about balance. Fours is about stability. So a lot of you could have been feeling unstable. And um, stability is coming in for you. You have the three of pentacles with the four of swords. I feel like um, that's somebody coming in to help you or some of you are receiving some type of answers or some type of help from spirit. 
while you're sleeping. So it's important for you to pay attention to your dreams, write them down, look them up. But first, before you start to look up dreams, try to interpret them for yourself. And once you write them down on paper and you look at them, it gives you a different perspective um, subconsciously. It's like when you're writing down, when you're consciously writing things down and you reread them, it's like you're reading them from your subconscious, which gives you a different pers uh, perspective um, about whatever it is that you're writing down. And that goes for everything that you write down. Um, but I feel like you're getting some type of jewels or some type of help or information or some type of ideas from these dreams that you may be having. What's this nine of pentacles? For some of you, you could be um, you could be smokers like herbal smokers. Um, I feel like it's important for you to learn more about which strand that you're using, especially if you're trying to use it for spiritual purposes. Um, really do some research into the different strands that you're using. this nine of pentacles okay so you have the three of pentacles and the three of swords which is nine of pentacles three 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 you could be seeing three 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 a lot that's about expansion oh look there's another three here um so a lot of you again are going to be expanding with your business you have the three of pentacles two times so i feel like um some type of some family member or somebody who feels like family is going to be helping you with this three of swords energy um i feel like this is who I don't know who this person is, but it's somebody who is really not helping you right now in a good way. So somebody who's kind of distracting you. Okay. What's this Queen of Wands energy? This is Queen of Wands energy. And look, I broke this. You see the Ten of Pentacles. With the Queen of Wands. Some of you could be coming up with a new strategy. Um, and that new strategy is going to definitely help you uh, climb up the ladder of success. What's this Queen of Wands? I feel like a lot of you are learning to put your foot down and learning to be firm and um, learning to put your foot down as far as boundaries, as far as what you will and what you won't do. Also, I feel like um, sexually, a lot of you are guarding yourself sexually. What's this Queen of Wands? Or it's a need for you to. And look at this. You have the Six of Wands. Stepping into your power, being victorious. This is that victorious energy. What's this nine of wands? With the nine of wands, you have the eight of pentacles. So again, don't give up just yet. Don't give up. Don't give up. You've been doing the work and that is going to pay off. But if you quit right now, it's not going to be good for you. What's this death card? Two of pentacles death and rebirth eight of pentacles at the bottom so a lot of you are um learning to better prioritize your work ethic i feel like there's about to be a new way in how you do things i also see the number 13 here which reduces to four which is about stability so a lot of you um could be having like like daydreaming or having visions 
about um, a new place or something like that. Some of you are trying to find a new place to work or um, like a di- like it's, it's imperative for you to move to like a different location into your house if you're working from home. Some of you could be looking at backgrounds or some of you could uh, work better at night as well or at like sunset or dawn or dusk, something like that. Some of you are trying to figure out which is going to be a better fit for you. Okay. But overall... I'm saying that whatever this ending is in your life with this world card energy, um, it's, it's definitely for the benefit of you, for the benefit of your um, work, whatever you're doing. Okay, it says today choose joy, rise by uplifting others. So it could be people around you who are... Um, not speaking so highly of you or other people. Um, choose to not engage in whatever that is. Whatever this low vibrational energy is, choose to not engage into it. Because it slows you down. Okay, it says dream without fear. Dream without fear. Don't be fearful of, it's like, don't stop now. If it is something new that you're beginning, have no fear. Put your all into it and just put it out there. Okay, it says, the best way out is always through. And let your ideas bloom. So some of you, again, could be having some type of ideas, some type of new ideas. If it's if it's something new, don't be afraid, but also don't give up on the things that you have already built. Don't give up on that. Learn how to, with this Two of Pentacles energy, learn how to better balance the two. Continue to be consistent with whatever it is that you have already been cultivating and some way, somehow learn to better um, balance and add in this new energy. Let's get one more. See good in all things. Bottom of the deck. Life is better when you are laughing. Okay, so to uh, uplift your energy, some of you could um, look into uh, some comedy or something like that. Something that's funny. All right, let's get just a few more. And then we're going to go. Okay. Alignment. Alignment. Oh, it's about to fall, y'all. Okay, so you have getaway. Again, I feel like this is that energy I was talking about. Some of you like relocating or moving into a new spot to give you like some new energy to, to be. Uh, it'll help you to be more creative. You have releasement. So again, releasing those whatever these old things or these old ways. You have second chances. So some of you could be trying to do something again or trying to give your hand at a an idea that may not have worked before this is a good time to give this a second chance or give it another go and lastly you have resurrection which is like my ace of pentacles as well but it's also talking about the same thing it's time to give something a second chance that you've done before that you kind of gave up on or it's time to revamp um whatever it is that you're already doing all right so with that being said this was y'all's reading i hope that this helped y'all and I hope to see y'all again soon.